I illustrated Pippi Longstocking, the, the first book in Astrid Lindgren's Pippi series back in 2007. So there's a gap of 12 years between book one and book two. And of course it's important that the books relate and sit together as a pair. So I spent some time going back through book one, reminding myself of what I'd done and why I'd done it in that way. My way of approaching this commission I think would be very different now um, but that's for no other reason than my work and way of doing things has changed over time. You know it's inevitable because you have different ideas, you, you see things differently and so it's, it's hard to go back to something and revisit it. It's the same when I'm, I'm working on a new Charlie and Lola pitch book, I've, I've done six of them now. So the first one was created back in 1999 and the most recent one into 2017. And you can see, if you look at them, how my artworks evolved in that time. And it's much more designed, I think, and the characters are a bit rounded off and a bit sort of cleaner looking in terms of the drawing. They have evolved over time. They're recognizably the same, but there are differences that come in like the, the line weight and perhaps the shape of the character to some degree uh, but you still see them as the same character so they've just gradually changed over time. So looking back at, at book one you see there's a lot of white space and white backgrounds and that's because it's a chapter book, it's for reading and you, you need the words to be able to breathe on the page. So I'm aware of that when I'm beginning Pippi Goes Aboard, it has to sit as a series, so there's going to be that connection between the two books. When there are backgrounds, they, they're, on the whole they're quite simple because it's all about Pippi. She's a very animated character, so you're often seeing her in action and disappearing off the page because it's almost as if she can't be contained in the dimensions of the book. So all of this is quite easy to pick up on, but what I hadn't appreciated was how difficult it would be to find my way back into the drawing style. My style has become sort of much cleaner, I think, and, and more detailed in recent years. And the original Pippi is much spikier. I made some sketches and drawings and even some finished pieces of art only to discover that my 2019 Pippi was drawn very differently from my earlier 2007 Pippi. So I had to start again. I had to stop myself thinking about the detail and how, how someone would lift a horse and just think how to, how to create that spontaneity of line and the, the feeling of energy, because that's what it's about. It's, 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 a, it's a sort of chopped up paper world. Everything's snipped out with scissors and laid often at strange angles with strange perspective. Um, and unusual crops. So there's a very decorative feel to it. It's definitely not about realism. To get this angularity, I, I chopped up all the figures that I'd drawn so I could reposition the arms and legs really like they're sort of puppets or marionettes. And this helped me find my way back to the Pippi I'd imagined all those years ago. Thank you.